David Hindsmith very kindly sent me two books recently, so two books which he uh, published just a couple of, couple of weeks ago. Uh, so uh, there is The Quintessence of Secret Mercury, which I will review soon when I've had a chance to have a better look at it. Uh, but right now I'd like to focus on this, The, the Fountain of Wisdom, uh, which I've been waiting for for well ever since he announced that he was going to be doing a um, uh, a book about it. Uh, this is the book that influenced David Heimsmith's work, his entire life's work, uh, you, you could say. Um, uh, this is a book that he spent 20 years uh, studying and uh, um, mapping out. He calls himself an esoteric cartographer. And uh, the, uh, so what he does is that he gets uh, Kabbalistic books and alchemical books and works out how everything relates to everything else and creates these wonderful diagrams. This is a very simple one. Uh, I'll show you some, some very beautiful ones in a few moments. But uh, just to show you that actually the book itself is very, very slim. Uh, it's about 20, 30 pages, something along those lines. Um, uh, but it's incredibly heavy, right? It's incredibly dense. Uh, with uh, uh, and, and quite difficult to approach. So what he's done is that he's made the book approachable. <laughs> and uh, so, so the, uh, the, the structure of the book is that he's actually started with, um, with a passage from the middle of the book. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find the exact page. Um, uh, uh, yep, yeah, actually it starts right there. At that time Moses began to gaze upon the, primary, uh, the primal ether. Uh, and so this passage is the passage which he calls the seer's vision. And he says that, well, that's really the passage that holds the keys to the rest of uh, the work. So that's what he starts off uh, by, by giving us a, a commentary on. Uh, so there are, th you could say, f actually five parts to the entire book. Uh, the first part is an introduction. It's a wonderful introduction, very, very interesting. Really uh, uh, gets your mouth watering for what you're about to read. Uh, and uh, is also a little primer, you could say, so that you are prepared at least for what you're getting into. And then he starts off with this commentary of the middle section, the seer's vision. Um, yeah, so as I was just saying to you, he calls himself a, an esoteric cartographer and uh, with right, <laughs> uh, these are all the, 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 the maps that he, that he creates. He doesn't like to call this art since it doesn't have, it doesn't contain any expression of himself, which uh, he, he believes that art really does, right? Art, art is really an expression of the artist. Uh, this, he says, is really the result of meditation and immersion in the material. And what he does is that he puts down on paper what he finds there. Uh, so this, uh, he says, is really nothing to do with him, but, but rather a, a direct um, description, a direct diagram of, uh, of his um, experiences. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Yes, I think that if all cartographers made such beautiful maps, <laughs> I might have been more interested in geography <laughs> in school, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice. So the way he does it is that, yeah, he takes the just a, a couple of lines and breaks them down into his his thoughts about those lines. And there are quite a lot of thoughts, as you can see. Um, he recommends reading the book, the book in the following way, just starting at the beginning and read all, reading all the way through fast without stopping or pausing to make sense of anything. And then he says that um, that material will already have started making its way within your self. <laughs> uh, uh, so that when you start again at the beginning and uh, you start actually studying it and start working out what works, works with what and what belongs where and so on, it becomes much easier because it's all already 
within you. So I think that's actually quite a, a helpful study guide <laughs> way of, uh, of working through this. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so then I was saying there's an introduction, there's that uh, uh, commentary on the seer's vision, and then he simply goes back to the very beginning and uh, gives us the commentary on the first section, which is uh, um, informed by that, that little middle section that he's started off with there. Um, and uh, yeah, it goes all the way through the first section. Then there's a, uh, the commentary on the second section. Simply the second section is uh, whatever comes, well, not the second, the last section, uh, which is everything that comes after that seer's vision, right? Uh, and then you have the actual translation. Uh, the translation by, I'm afraid I forget his name, uh, Dr. Mark Verman. There we are. So Dr. Mark Verman made this translation, uh, I, I assume, in the 80s, and uh, that's the version that uh, David Hindsmith read back then and spent all that time studying and working with. And uh, when David Hindsmith reached out to Dr. Verman uh, just a, a, a couple of, well, uh, a short while ago, and said that he wanted to make this book. Um, Dr. Mark Verman said, I'll make a, a fresher, newer translation. So that's what we have here, which is, which is really, really nice. I strongly recommend checking out uh, David Heimsmith's um, interview on the Glitch Bottle podcast, if you haven't done so already. He's a very eloquent man. <laughs> uh, it's very, very pleasant listening to him. And uh, in fact, just reading this, you can, you can feel his, his love for language. You know, it's very poetic. Um, uh, the, the, uh, his, his mastery of, of language to put across the, the, the beauty that he's experiencing in, in areas which aren't just really um, uh, your, your everyday um, experience right let me give you a, an idea of the quality of the book itself because you know it's not a it's not a it's not a cheap book by any means but it's uh, w when you realize what you're getting uh, and you realize other books at a similar price point uh, <laughs> this is this is miles ahead <laughs> of much of the competition you know um, uh, and it's it yeah w w in terms of the quality getting this great quality for, 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 for such a low price is, to me, is uh, very surprising. Very, very surprising. I would expect maybe uh, prices at, at twice uh, or even three times uh, that kind of um, level. Um, uh, but, uh, but yes, it's, um, it, it's, it's, it's very, very well made. It's a really sturdy, beautiful book. The uh, cover is in this black buck, uh, buckram uh, with uh, this shiny red font on the front. It's a very nice um, uh, diagram there with, with the flames and uh, very, very nice. Uh, this is the spine right there. And um, yeah, the, the dust cover is uh, this uh, French fold dust cover, uh, but it's this really nice rubberized paper which um, uh, yeah which does pick up fingerprints and then wipes clean uh, with a with a dry cloth uh, or with a paper towel so that's that's really really nice but look how just just how beautiful the whole thing is it's just incredibly beautiful um, here's a little close-up of that front cover And then the spine. It's a little bit larger than the 32 keys. If uh, you have a copy of the 32 keys, uh, I guess the 32 keys comes up to about here. Yeah, uh, but it seems to, yeah, it's exactly the same size as the uh, quintessence of uh, Secret Mercury. As you can see, both of them together, they're the same size. Uh, so they're, they're kind of the ones that are available to buy at the moment. Uh, there's the second book in the series also, which I believe you can still pick up, um, uh, which, is, which is very nice. 
there we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. Do check out that um, uh, that interview on the Glitch Bottle podcast. It's uh, something quite special, actually. Um, and, uh, and yeah, links down below. Uh, one last thing, maybe, is that this is now available at the time of recording, of course. It's now available not only in the United States. Um, uh, uh, let me see. It's uh, So Anathema Publishing are making it available in, in Canada and the whole of Northern America. And also um, uh, Cyclic Law are, have made it available in, uh, for, for Europe and Africa. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that, that makes it a lot more accessible in terms of the shipping costs and things like this. Uh, but of course, if you are able to, uh, go directly to David Heimsmith's own web store um, and, and order it straight from there. All the links I'll put down below naturally. Okay then, thanks so much for watching. See you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.